What is up? Just wanted to weigh in on the uh, Godot wokeness kind of debate thing going on. If you don't know, so uh, there, Godot is a game engine, like you know many others, and the community manager recently put out a tweet, something about, hey, Godot is a is a woke game engine, and of course, you know, obviously the the typical kind of backlash and back and forth where you know. You know, name calling and all that kind of fun stuff. I think the original creator of Godot came out and said, "Hey, I don't want to get into politics. I just want to make a uh, make a game engine." So yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. I think uh, another group uh, has kind of forked off the Godot engine to make uh, a Redo R E D O T engine thing. I think that's coming out on Friday as of recording this. Anyway. So, I just wanted to throw my two cents out there for, one, this really doesn't matter, uh, largely because Godot is a open source uh, game engine. Uh, I went over and I looked at the uh, website. I'm just kind of making this video quick so I might not have screenshots up for everything. So I went over to the website and double checked the licensing and yeah, there's really nothing in there about Godot being able to censor any game you make. So even though they're, you know, the community managers are claiming, hey, this is a woke game engine. You know, I mean, you could make Springtime for Hitler if you wanted to. That's a reference to the producers. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I mean, they can certainly say whatever they want, but it's not like they can really do anything about it. And like I said, someone has already taken the Godot uh, code repository and forked that into the Redo. And really, that's not that strange of a thing. Anyone can go in there, make a fork of the Godot engine and say, you know, call it the Dodo <laughs> engine if they wanted. You know, so, I mean, that's really kind of a... And on one sense, it's kind of a nothing burger. Uh, sure, there's a lot of companies that are uh, supporting Godot at different, you know, uh, donation tier levels. So may, they might want to, you know, uh, do one thing or the other about that. I don't know. But yeah, as far as that, and as they continue to develop Godot, I mean, the other forks have just kind of cribbed their notes and steal their code. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of open source is that it's uh you can just kind of like make something you know, you can just keep kind of keep working on it make what you want to make and no one can stop you so good whether they are going woke or not it sounds like there's some internal conflict there you know i mean on one hand it really doesn't matter now, I actually kind of like the uh, Godot engine it, one. It's open source, so you can basically do whatever you want with it, and uh, which is you know pretty nice. And it is you know pretty useful, and they have been uh, pretty good about making updates to it. I mean, progress isn't as fast as maybe some other of the more you know pay uh, engines and whatnot, but so be it. Uh, and also, one of the things that kind of drew me towards Godot is that partially because it's an open source thing. I mean, I do enjoy my occasional edgy bullshit, so if I did want to make an edgier game or whatever, I mean, no one can really sit back and with Godot, no one can really stop me. Which is one of the things I was, uh, I forget exactly what game it was. Uh, jeez, it may have been, like, even Hatred. I know Hatred, they ran into some issues with, uh, I think the Unreal Engine, the Unreal wanted them to like take off branding and whatnot. And I'm sure there's probably some other engines that have put up different rules of one kind or the other. So that was kind of, you know, whereas, you know, Godot, I mean, obviously, unless they try to pull some stuff with their license, I think uh, the current version is on the MIT license, which doesn't really allow for too much editorial control about what other people do with the engine. So, I mean, what can they really do there which is you know which is one of the selling points of Godot so uh, so one thing 
uh, I'm... One thing that kind of smells about this whole situation to me is that game engines are kind of a big business. So now here out of the blue, this, you know, community manager just starts making all this, you know, woke posting and whatnot. And, and this isn't even taking a side on either side of the, the culture war or anything like that. It's like, uh, in the year 2024, I think a lot of companies are starting to see a lot of these woke projects, uh, or woke just in general, kind of like losing or being exposed to have not to not have the support that they thought. That there's a you know the backlash and all that kind of all that kind of stuff against woke projects, woke you know against the uh, sweet baby ink and all that kind of stuff. So so right now a community manager, which I think is just like a volunteer position, then they kind of move their way up the ranks, uh, whatever, from like their Discord or whatever, and I think some of their Discord mods are on uh, this, are on the, uh, that same side too. I mean, sure, Occam's Razor, it does make entirely, you know, complete sense that these could just be, you know, volunteers who are just, you know, power hungry and like work their way up the ladder and now that they're in positions of control they're trying to uh, uh, exert their will, own the chuds and whatever <laughs> whatever kind of euphemism you want to use there, that sort of thing that is entirely possible, I've seen this, basically that sort of thing it wasn't even, you know, woke related it was just, you know uh, people want to, you know troll communities and whatever so they sneak in, work their way up to up the ladder and then start, you know, pooing all over everything. It's, you know, not not really related to, you know, wokeness, anti-wokeness, right, left, whatever. It's just people being people, people being crappy. But, uh, so, I mean, that, it makes complete sense. But what I'm kind of getting at is something's throwing up my tinfoil hat alarm here that, uh, Godot has been, you know, growing pretty steadily and whatnot. I think they're on version 4 and, you know, I, like I said, I like Godot. I haven't really made anything uh, production quality with it, but I am enjoying Godot. It almost feels like now that Godot is starting to become a bigger and bigger thing, like maybe there might be some sabotage going on. Again, I have no real evidence for it other than like a gut feeling, but since Godot is a free and open source game engine, I'm always thinking like maybe, I mean sure like Unity and uh, Unreal, those are the big, uh, those are the big, you know, heavy hitters. Well, maybe along with video games requiring less and less graphical fidelity. Uh, I know uh, like the new PS5 Pro or whatever it is that, uh, is being advertised now. I mean, you look at the side-by-side -side comparison of graphics in those, and it doesn't really look like it warrants the <laughs> seven, eight hundred dollar price tag or whatever. Whereas you look at a lot of other games that are pretty popular, and they've got you know, they don't have bad graphics, but they don't have graphics that really need a lot of horsepower and stuff like that. I mean, Godot is starting to catch up to being able to do that sort of thing. So Godot is starting to become, I think, more and more of a realistic competitor, especially for devs who don't want to pay for the big licenses for, like, Unreal or uh, Unity. And even then, I mean, there's a lot of other game dev engines that uh, are those big ones, but they, like, uh, Construct 2, uh, App Develop, or... Uh, Game Maker Pro, a bunch of other ones. I mean, hell, even a uh, RPG Maker. I know Ren Pi is already a, that also a free open source thing, but that's just for like visual novels and stuff. But so I can't really, you know, say that it would be like uh, Epic or uh, Unity that would be doing this. But sure, maybe there might be some midware uh, game dev engines that might be starting to. Look at Godot's ascent and kind of, you know, getting a little uh, jealousy there or 
or you know just straight up you know financial financial interest and looking at that thinking like hmm what I did why well, need to take them down and not so maybe they you know so maybe a little influence there again like I said no evidence just a uh, just uh, me noticing things and you know thinking uh, like I said it could make them could be completely 100% honestly just you know, some people got into the Godot you know foundation became community managers and now they're just trying to exert their will for some ego trip type thing or for you know some political you know political influence or whatever or it could be something a little more nefarious. I know uh, this new Redo thing that they're trying to start up. Apparently, they're having to fight off a lot of uh, people trying to infect that project or whatnot. So, so just another little thing to point out there to maybe maybe consider. Uh, as for you know using Godot, I'm probably going to continue using Godot even though it's you know you know technically woke. I mean. Like I said, that really doesn't matter. Just, you know, if you if you like their wokeness, you know, fine, go ahead. If you don't like their wokeness, just go ahead and make anti-woke games with Godot and they can't really stop you from what you... I am not a lawyer, but it looks like they cannot really stop you there. So, and as for Redo, I'll, you know, give Redo a shot. Just kind of, you know, tool around with it a little bit. See what they, uh... Uh, obviously, you know, since it's coming out on Friday, it's not going to have much different from 4.0. It's just going to be under different management, I think. So, who knows? Uh, uh, I mean, Linux uh, distributions, those have, those have been, you know, forked in every single different <laughs> way. There's, like, tons, dozens, hundreds of different, like, Linux distros out there. So, you can you pick and choose. I don't see why. You know, making forks of Godot would really be a big deal and I in any direction there I mean like I said I could log in there and make a fork of it and call it you know call it the Heldo or something called the Heldo engine or something like that you know whatever so I mean, on one hand it's not a big deal I mean the different you know, online influences and whatnot are talking about it because I guess it's the the news of the day, the big thing going on in gaming, but yeah, I guess we'll have to see. Maybe they'll try to slip some si sort of uh, uh, licensing clauses in there that you, you can't use this engine if you're going to make something we don't like, but I think if they did that, they'd kind of, you know, they would lose a lot of support pretty quick, I think, if they tried to do that. I'm mean, not sure if it's even possible if they can with, you know, the different open source licenses and whatnot. Uh, and plus that, you know, basically people that have contributed to the project already that did so on the old license, you know, who knows, they're, the legality could go anywhere with this, I have no idea, but, yeah, so, uh, there we go, it, on one hand it's just, well, I think I forgot to mention this, uh, as far as the community manager goes, you know, and the whole declaring it woke and whatnot. I mean, that's just a stupid idea. Open source projects like this, well, in general, they kind of rely on their, you know, on their community. It's a community project. That's kind of how the whole thing works. So, I mean, making an overly political statement, you know, in any direction, doesn't have to be left or right or anything. You're going to alienate some of your own community and those of the people that are doing the work so, so yeah it seems like uh, the who knows what will go on uh, yeah whatever I'll try out Riddo on Friday see how it goes and uh, yeah uh, on one hand it feels like this really is a, kind of a nothing burger on the other hand if it does kind of fracture the uh, the developer base, that could be an issue, and that does kind of feel like hmm, maybe that could have been the entire point from the beginning, because there's a lot of people who make money off game engines, and if there's a free one out there that 
is pretty good, and Goto is pretty good, so, you know, hmm, makes you think, big think here, yeah, so, anyway, that's just, uh, my two cents, I didn't really have a script or anything, you know, for order for this, just kind of stream of consciousness, so, yeah, uh, just throwing that out there, uh, that's about all I have to say on that, I might, you know, after I try Rudo, I might you know, make another video if I remember anything I've had to mention. But anyway, enough rambling on my side. So, till next time, later.